Hello, everyone. Uh, since uh, some people are perplexed or wondering whether Christians should celebrate Christmas or how to celebrate Christmas, <clears throat> or you should be believing Christmas or other things like that, uh, let me help uh, with this uh, presentation. I wrote an article and uh, I'm going to just uh, show it to you and the reason will be okay. I hope it will help. You know, Christmas, uh, people who don't like Christmas uh, or who like Christmas, actually there is a continuous debate and most debates uh, go around definitions. So before To, to properly or to productively reason, it's better to define. If you like Christmas, which part do you like? If you don't like Christmas, which part do you don't like? So normally, people who don't like to, who are uncomfortable or afraid of Christmas, they, they, they associate it with something that they don't like, like paganism and so on. So, <clears throat> you know that this Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries, uh, celebrations, uh, they are there. There are many celebrations in the Bible. There is Christ in the Bible. Christmas means Christ mass. There is plenty of uh, gathering, church gathering is in the Bible. Uh, birthdays, there are also. Uh, Anniversaries, yeah, there are so many feasts that celebrate some date that happened in the past. I think the question, it looks like the question is how you do it. Because the pagans have their own way of celebrating and the Jews have their own way of celebrating. Of course, uh, there's a difference because of what they believe. So now, of course, Christmas, we... It's about, uh, let, let us try to define. Uh, actually, I was looking for an analogy, but I saw in Acts 17, 23. Remember Paul, <clears throat> he said, For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him de I declare unto you, <clears throat> God that made the whole world, uh, the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelling not in temples made with hands. As you see here, Paul is walking in uh, an area where there are many pagan idolaters, and he used one of their idols, altar there, and he saw an altar with which it says to the unknown God, and he capitalized on this uh, pagan belief <laughs> to introduce the real God, which is uh, the only one God. And that's how Paul uh, later says that he used the guile to win them to Christ. As Paul used a pagan belief to introduce Christ, we can also use holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, New Year, uh, whatever, to do good and to point people to Jesus. As most of the world celebrate, celebrates like the time of Noah, which we should not do, eating and drinking uh, too much, uh, you know, partying, reveling, etc. Those words are used in the Bible. So it, it will be in the end of time. So there are people who celebrate drinking, eating things that the Bible says you do not eat, etc. And uh, wasting money, giving uh, unnecessary gifts. So how do Christians make use, make good of these holidays? Because if you don't like Christmas, you have to find, uh, of course, Bible support. If you want to use it, uh, you can find Bible support also to support the Great Commission, as Paul did. But there are restrictions. For example, uh, how about partying and feasting? Not only for Christmas, even for birthdays and uh, Every day, it says here in Luke 14, when thou makest a dinner, call not thy friends. Or do you call your friends? 
nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor the rich neighbors. Uh, this is the Bible way of celebrating <laughs> your birthday or whatever, making a party. Do you call your friends? Uh, maybe uh, this one is uh, in really in the Bible. You know, you can obey this one if you want. Lest they do also bid thee again, and a recompense be made to thee. But when thou makest the feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, and the blind. This is in the Bible, yeah? No debate. And thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee, for thou shalt be recompensed at thy resurrection. However, so Jesus fed many people, most of them probably poor, but he also ate in the part in the <laughs> wedding. So, yeah, that is what is in the Bible and what is the practice. He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed. For he giveth his bread to the poor. So giving to people who are poor who cannot give you back, that is the best way. In fact, he says, do not uh, invite your friends and your brethren, etc. And the king shall. Matthew 25, 40, and the king shall answer and say unto you, Verily I say unto you, and as much as you have done it unto one of the least of my brethren, you have done it unto me. So Uh, it is uh, it's quite important. Sorry, let me share again. Okay. So, the list of your brethren. That is how you celebrate. Uh, your thanksgiving to God by giving to those people who cannot uh, feed you back. Okay. Sorry, it's a, a striking point because it's written in the Bible. Give, we have to uh, tell what's in the Bible. How about giving of gifts? So, eating, Jesus ate in a party. How do you feed people? Feed the people who are poor than you. How about giving gifts? Those are the things in the Christmas. Uh, speak unto the children of Israel that they may bring me an offering. Okay. Giving gift to the church is okay. Of every man that giveth it willingly in his heart, you shall take my offering. You can give gift to the church. No problem. Whether Christmas or not Christmas or New Year, not New Year, your birthday, etc. No matter how. It, it depends how thankful you are. Second Corinthians... 9-7. Every man according to his purpose in his heart. So let him give, not grudgingly or of, or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Yeah. Actually, it is best to give to the church because you are piling up your treasures in heaven where move and rust cannot take it. Cannot corrode your offering. First Corinthians, Chronicles 29.9, 9, then the people rejoiced for that they offered willingly because with perfect heart they offered willingly to the Lord. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy. The liberal soul shall be made fat, Proverbs 11.25, and he, watereth, he that watereth shall be watered also. Proverbs 3.9, honor the Lord with thy substance and with thy first fruits. Of all thine increase, so shall thy barns be filled with plenty. And thy presses shall burst out with you one. Wow. Malachi 3.10. Bring ye the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Matthew 6. Lay not for yourselves treasures upon earth, remove and rust that corrupt, where thieves break through and steal. But lay it up for your treasures in heaven where neither moth or rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. If you send your treasure to heaven by helping people or helping the church, then your heart will go to heaven also because that's where you put your money. How about gifts to others? Okay, the other one was gifts or offerings. Now, a gift to others. James 1, 27. 
Your religion and I'm defiled before God and the Father is this. To visit the fatherless. Okay. Do you know other people who have friends who are fatherless? Take good care of them. Widows, husbands who have died, to, take, to keep himself unspotted from the world. Be careful also with the criticizing and making it difficult for fatherless and widow. Matthew 25, 35. This is how we celebrate properly what? giving gifts. For I was hungered and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. By the way, the meat here, and it was meat for them. Even in Genesis, they God gave them meat. Meat means food. Okay, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> Romans 12, 13, distributing to the necessity of the saints, given to hospitality. Okay, give to the people who are doing God's work. That's a good gift to others, which is also counted in heaven. Proverbs 31, 20, she stretched out her hand to the poor, yeah, and she stretched forth her hands to the needy. Deuteronomy 15, uh, you want to be happy, help people who cannot uh, pay you back. You will be happy. If you are depressed, give bread to the street children. Look for them. You will be happy. You will forget your problems. Deuteronomy 15, 11. For the poor shall never cease out of the land. Therefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt open thine hand wide unto thy brother, to thy poor, and to thy needy in thy land. Is it good to give to the poor in Christmas? Ah, I think it's the best because there is no class. It's holiday. They are all around. You can preach to them, etc. Matthew 6, 1 to 4. Take heed that you do not do your arms before men. Okay, how about giving, uh, making selfie? <laughs> While giving bread to the needy and money and... Uh, okay. Matthew 6 says, do not take selfie. To be seen of them and post in YouTube and Facebook. Otherwise, you have no reward of your father which is in heaven. Therefore, when you that when thou doest thine arms, do not sound a trumpet and post it in Facebook, as the hypocrites do in the Facebook and in the streets, <laughs> that they may have glory of men. Verily I sent you, they have the reward in Facebook. They have light, okay, popularity. But when thou doest their, thine al, uh, doest arms, let not thy le YouTube uh, know, let not uh, Facebook know, nor Twitter, nor uh, whatever. That thine arms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Wow. Do you want likes on the share, or you want uh, credit in heaven? Okay. I think it's more feasible to give to let God uh, credit you than to let Facebook and uh, YouTube and your social networks credit you. But you, you should teach them also how to do it so that we all get, uh, we all are on join. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that he shall believe it and he did not perish but have. This is the really biggest gift you can ever have. You cannot compute the worth of this gift. And everything is worth dying for just for this gift. First John 3, 17, But whoso hath his, this world's goods, and seeth his brother had need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him. How dwelleth the love of God in him? Matthew 7, 11, If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Matthew 6, 27, 28, But I say unto you, which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, do you know how you can love your enemies? Just forget about them and remember you are going to heaven. If you count eternity versus whatever you are quarreling about, you just uh, what you understand that whatever you are quarreling about now is actually insignificant compared to what God wants you to give you. So you can actually afford to love your enemies and do good to those people who hate you. Bless them that curse you. Why? Even if they kill you, you can bless them because you're going to be, God wants to give you eternal life. And pray for them which despise fully use you. Sometimes people don't see what uh, the blessings, they see the uh, small things that are here. Only this today, this year, money, uh, 
self relevance, popularity. If you remove it, they they angry with you, but they don't see the long term, forever. What uh, winning people to Christ? Okay, best gift to us, which we can relate to others, is forgiveness of our sins. For the wages, Romans six twenty uh, three. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Wow, without this, we are done. But God is very gracious. How about going to church on Sabbath? Christmas. No? Mass. Hebrews 10, 24 on Sabbath. I mean, on uh, whatever day of the week. But, of course, you have Sabbath is uh, always there. Hebrews 10, 24, 25. And let us consider one another. Oh, you always go to Sabbath, to, uh, to church, yeah? Not only on Christmas or on uh, wedding or uh, funeral. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another so much more that as you see the day approaching. Acts 2.42, and they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Colossians 3.16, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Enjoy singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Matthew 18, 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Luke 4, 16. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. Okay, Jesus goes to church on the Sabbath day. If you want to be like Jesus, go to church on the Sabbath day. Very simple. Psalm 84.10 For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in thy house, in the house of my God, than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Okay. Luke 14.23 And the Lord said unto the servants, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them that my house may be filled. I invite them, you know, compel, you know, compel word. Romans 10, 14, those, uh, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? How shall they believe if they have not heard? And how shall they hear without the preacher? That's why it's very important to go to church because the thing that might save you might be mentioned and you are not there. So you miss your life. Is it good to do good? Uh, in Christmas or in your birthday or in your anniversary or whatever date that you want to celebrate. Philippians 4.8 Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. How about celebrating after the sermon? Let's see, Nehemiah 8, 12. And all the people went their way to eat and drink and to send portions and to make great mirth because they had understood the words that were declared unto them. So we celebrate because we understood the Bible. <laughs> okay, very nice. Nehemiah 8, 12. How about uh, Christmas tree? <laughs> or celebration, holiday, gives. Nehemiah 8.15, that they should publish and proclaim in all their cities in Jerusalem, go forth unto the mount, fetch olive branches and pine branches and myrtle branches and palm branches and branches of thick trees to make booths as it is written. So there they, they have celebration that uh, cuts trees. Leviticus 23.40, and ye shall take uh, cuts or three mysteries. And you shall take you on the first day of the book of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, and boughs of thick trees, and the willows of the brook, and you shall rejoice before the Lord your God seven days. I think this is the feast of booths. John 12, 13. Took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. <clears throat> uh, Jesus, Jesus is a carpenter, by the way. 
pretend before celebrating. Okay, this is a good example. Isaiah 1, 14 to 15. ESB. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hates. Oh, they have become a burden to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. <clears throat> so uh, we should repent of all our sins. Otherwise, our celebrating in the feast will not be a good for you. God will not like it. Colossians uh, 2.16 Let Therefore, let no one pass judgment on you in questions of food and drink. Or with regard to festival, a festival, or a new moon, or a Sabbath. Okay. How about Romans 14, 5 One person esteems one day as better than the other, while another esteems all days alike. Each one should be fully convinced in his own mind. The one who observes that day, observe it in honor of God. The one who eats, eat in honor of the Lord, since he gives thanks to God. While the one who abstains, abstains in honor of God and gives yeah, some people want to fast, some people want to celebrate. Uh, Jesus fasted, Jesus also celebrated. So, uh, whatever the Holy Spirit tells you to do, you obey. And also, the Bible says, do not pass judgment on others. Don't be lazy during Christmas and holidays. Proverbs 11.30 The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls, even in the holiday, is very wise. <clears throat> In your birthday, try to win soul. In uh, whatever, this is the best thing to do is to win soul for Jesus Christ. All power is given to me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Matthew 28, 18 to 22. This is where the power go comes from, from the go. Ellen G. White also wrote about uh, holidays, birthdays, and anniversaries in the book uh, Adventist Home. I think it's chapter 78 and 77. <clears throat> By the way, in Jeremiah, there is Jeremiah 10, there is a tree cut down carved back in silver. That's not a Christmas tree, it is an idol which cannot talk and cannot move and falls down. It has to be carried by itself. So I hope it helps. Uh, decimate the confusion and the concerns about Christmas or just compare it with your birthday or anniversary. Uh, so yeah, actually Christmas is more biblical than your birthday or any other universe, but you can do good any day of the year. In, your, in Christmas, do whatever the Bible says. In New Year, do whatever the Bible says. Don't do whatever the Bible doesn't say. Don't offer offerings to idols, etc. <clears throat> Just do what the Bible says, whatever day of the year, and uh, you will be you will be uh, clear. Be based on the Bible. I hope that helps, my friends. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Birthday, Happy Anniversary. And happy celebration, foundation, etc. Whatever foundation, may the Holy Spirit guide you, guide us how to utilize us uh, this is holidays or celebrations towards uh, the spreading of the gospel.